I don't want to oversimplify Raymond, but did you just build it and they came? So, I had a friend, Bill Hay, who was a retired military officer and a handyman, and he came to my house and he built this chamber, which was just a little room with mirrors in it, and uh, um, so that you could shut it off from light, could get very dark in there, a comfortable, easy chair a few feet in front of the mirror with a little light in the back so that the room could be dimly illuminated. Then I asked 10 of my graduate students of psychology who were very curious people and very bright people if they wanted to participate in a procedure of calling up the spirits of the deceased. And out of curiosity, all of them agreed. Then as word spread about, the, about this among my medical colleagues, for example, a lot of them wanted to do it out of curiosity. So I just set this up. I started by a simple procedure. I would just ask each subject to choose some one deceased person they wanted to see again. Then they would come to my place about nine o'clock in the morning. We'd just sit around and I would ask them questions just as I would, for example, if I was conducting a grief counseling session, which is to ask very open-ended questions such as, tell me about this person who died. You know, and then they would talk and talk and talk. And you know, when they just talk as much as they will, then you sort of go back with a slightly less open-ended question, like what are some of your most touching and fond memories about this person? Then they would talk and talk and talk. And when they wound down and weren't talking anymore, I'd come back with another question like, well, what were some of the difficulties in the relationship, for example? And they would talk and talk. Well, this would usually last an hour or two hours, just to the point where I could satisfy myself that this individual had brought up the memories of the deceased person very vividly in their mind. And then I would just conduct them into this little chamber. I would tell them to sit down and to get very, very relaxed and relaxing there in the darkness to look into this mirror, like gazing into the mirror as though they are gazing into an infinite depth. I would leave them in that chamber for say an hour or an hour and a half. And then I would escort them out, sit them down into a chair and I would get them to describe to me what they had experienced during their trip to the other side. 